Hi, my name is Lingus, and today I'd like to talk to you about uterine biconuate and how we can cause uh, recurrent miscarriages. Uterine biconuate is a congenital uterine malformation that is commonly associated with recurrent miscarriages and ectopic pregnancies. So in this type of uterine malformation, there is a very deep and massive uh, septic that is growing from the top of the uterus all the way down into the uterine cavity. So this uh, separates the uh, initial, uh, should be a, a one single cavity into two cavities. So the separator could be either a complete separation or a partial separation. So the separator gives the uterus a short of a heart shape and uh, effectively it has two uterine cavities now, albeit it is much, much smaller. So this type of uterine malformation is very commonly associated with recurrent miscarriage because it has a imbalance in the tissue composition. So what do I mean by this? So this type of uterus has a higher composition of connective tissue compared to a muscle tissue. So this will cause poor blood flow in the uterus. So especially during a pregnancy, the fetus or the embryo will not be getting enough nutrients and blood flow, causing, causing it to underdevelop and uh, mature slower and potentially may cause a fetal demise or a miscarriage. So how do we diagnose this in anti-hospital? Anti-hospital uses uh, standard hysteroscopy and our hysterosalpingography, which is just an x-ray examination, and also our 4D color doppler ultrasound to accurately look at the shape and size of the uterus. And once it is confirmed that it is indeed a uterine biconuit, anti-hospital will conduct a standard uterine unification surgery by combining the two smaller uterine cavities into one large and normal shape of the uterus uh, by removing the separator and the septate. So if you'd like to find out more details about this condition and the comprehensive treatments, please refer to the article below.